yesterday you said um, that we will probably or that we will not reach the 1.5 degree Paris climate goal. And um, that's rather pessimistic. What makes you say that? I did a simple set of calculations with a few other colleagues and then IPCC did some very detailed modeling. It's very clear, even if all governments meet all of their current pledges, we're on a world that will actually get to about three, three and a half degree Celsius, not 1.5 or two. To try to achieve a 1.5 or two degree world, governments would have to significantly strengthen their pledges to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. And to be quite honest, at this moment in time, they're having a hard time meeting some of the current pledges. So is a 1.5 or two degree world theoretically possible? Yes. Do I believe it will happen in practice, no. Not even with the Fridays for Future movement and the seeming mobilization of people that might also change voters' behavior and change governments? What we're seeing at the moment is greenhouse gas emissions are still increasing globally. There was a couple of years between about 2015, 2017, where it seemed to flatten, but since then it's gone up. If we've got any chance of meeting a 1.5 or, or 2 degree world, global emissions have to stop growing within the next year or so. And by 2050, you'd have to almost have what we call zero carbon emissions. I just don't see the actions of governments and the actions of uh, policymakers around the world consistent with that, those desires. I would love to be wrong, and that's why I think it needs people like myself to keep challenging government and the private sector to say, we are not on track, you need to do more.